In this video, we learn about the measure names and measure values usage, where we exactly want to use those measure names and measure values. Let us see that at some places where the charts are failed to combine that places you can use measure names. Let us see practically. Now I'm working in the workbook named as measure names usage. The data source is global superstore 2017. You can download this workbook below the video here. Now, if you observe here, I've created a chart here that is sales, profit and the shipping cost versus the order date itself. If you see, these are the number of dates, years. Based on that, I want to see the all measure names itself, measure values. How do I create this first of all? So first is I'll just go to worksheet, create a new worksheet here. I'll pick up this order date into the columns, pick up this sales into this rows, pick up this profit into this rows and I'll pick up this shipping cost into this rows part itself. Now what I want is I want to see all three of them into one place in one graph. How do I do that? So if I want to combine shipping cost profit all this into one graph, so it is easy for me to compare and analyze. So first what I'll do is I'll click on this drop down, second uh, pill itself drop down and if you see there's an option given as dual axis, the last third option dual axis. If I, if I click on the first one like this and the drop down, I'll not find the dual axis option. So only on the second one you'll find it, so I'll select this uh, and I'll select this option as dual axis. So what has happened is both the axis have been combined into one and you can see that is a sales and profit, this both are given here, separate axis are also cre created for that. Now if you want to find out which color belongs to which one, you can see on the right hand side the legend, blue color stands for the profit, yellow color stands for the sales part. And uh, now if I want to combine the remaining also, how do I do that? If I click on this drop down and if I see there's no option for the, you know, combine axis, there's no option, dual axis. Because already two axis are done over here and I cannot do it further. Now if you observe here, this both axis have been combined, this both pills have been combined into one graph and that's a, you know, the small structure change which is given here. At this point of time, the main picture will come about the measure names and measure values. They will create, they will be useful a lot to combine all these different charts at one place. How? For example, if I show you this sheet that is chart with measures, this is chart with measures. If you, if I click on this place, I want this kind of graph where I have three, all the line chart, which are combined. One is for the profit. Second is for the quantity or shipping cost or sales, whatever it may be. So how do I create that at one place? So for that, I'll just remove this. I'll just remove this, click on this clear button and how do I add it? First of all, I'll pick up this order date, click on this columns. Second is I wanted three things. One was sales, profit and the third one was shipping cost, all three at one place. So what I can do is I'll just filter out first. I'll just filter out measure names into these filters. It says which field do you want? So I'll select only those fields which I'm looking for because profit, sales and shipping cost have the same range of numbers. Quantity will have the numbers of the uh, products or pieces, number of records and discount will be in percentage. So I don't want that. Click on apply, click on OK. Now after that, if you see measure names, so whatever value will come here that will be filtered based on the measure names. Now I'll pick up this measure values from here and I'll drop into this rows part itself. So if you see what has happened, some odd thing which I've got it. What I'll do is I'll try to color all of them based on this measure names and I'll put into the colors part. Now if you see here, there's some difference all three lines graph line charts have been combined into one what is the meaning of this line if you see blue stands for profit yellow stands for sales so sales is the highest among all of them and the shipping cost is the lowest among all of them if you want to give a name to that line chart again you can pick up this measure names put into this labels part and you'll be seeing that there are some names which are given this names is not given for this one but you know because of the size of the chart i'll say the option as entire width okay now if you see the sales that's the order date which is given and these are the graphs so you can easily understand with the help of this measure names legend part itself so i hope you have understood how to work with the measure names and measure values where we can use those measure names and measure values that's all for this video